Hey guys, it's Joyce. Welcome back to my channel. So I've been using Linktree for a while now to connect you guys to some of my videos and accounts and I've mainly been putting it inside my Instagram bio. And although it's great, it's also not the most aesthetically pleasing design out there and has pretty limited functionality. So I'm going to be showing you how I changed my bio link to go from this to that using Canva. And before I get started, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe down below. And let's get started. The first thing you want to do is go to canva.com and make an account. It's free to use, it'll save your work, and it's literally the best tool ever. I've used it in many occasions and it's incredible how much you can do with it. So once you have an account created, you want to go to the search bar and type in BioLink website and you'll see a bunch of templates readily available for you to use. You can use any of these templates or you can actually create one from scratch. Personally, I would rather save some time and use a template as a base for my work, but it is 100% completely up to you. Once you click on an option, you'll be brought to this page where you can start customizing your design. You'll see to the left corner, the templates are still there for you in the case you liked a certain color or a font and wanted to add that to your design. I used two different templates to ultimately create a skeleton for my design. I used this pink one and this dark blue one. But my first step was to replace the photo with an image of myself. So I deleted the existing image, went over to the left hand icon bar where it says uploads and either uploaded it manually or dragged and dropped it in. Once you have the photo that you want, you can click and hold it over the photo frame and it should automatically snap right in. To adjust the photo, you can double click on the image and use the white circles on the corner to resize the image or you can simply move the photo to your liking. Next, I'm going to change the text and all you have to do is click on the text that you want to change and on the top, you can see you have a lot of options with how your text looks. You can change the font or the size, but my personal favorite is the effects option because it adds such a fun element to your text. You can add a glitch effect, a neon effect, but in this case, I'm using the curve effect. To change the color of your background, font, or any element, you can click on the object and go over to the top left corner where you can adjust the color. What's great about Canva is that you can use the color wheel to find the exact shade that you're looking for, but it also gives you a color palette based off your photos, so it makes it very easy to find a shade that perfectly matches your design. A trick that I like to do is to make sure that everything is perfectly aligned by highlighting all the elements I want to focus in on and clicking on the position button in the top right corner. This gives you the option to align elements from the top, middle, or bottom while also allowing you to evenly space them out. After adding some more text and color changes, I realized that maybe I didn't want to keep that photo frame shape. So I went over to elements, chose a new frame and added the same photo to see which one I liked better. Now here's the fun part, adding the website links. Wherever you want to add a link, for example, I'm going to be using this click me text. You want to click on the element, click on the three dots on the top and add your link right there. You'll see that there's a line underneath, but you can easily get rid of that by clicking on the underscore button. Like I said earlier, you can link any element. So I want to spice things up by adding some social media icons. So in this case, I'll be linking my YouTube, Twitter, and TikTok. So I went to elements, looked up the specific icon and follow the same exact process to link each and every one of them. Once you're satisfied with the entirety of your design, it's time to bring it to life. So head over to the publish as website button on the top right corner, choose the scrolling web style, and here is what she looks like. You can scroll and play around to see if all the links work, which they do in this case because they are leading you right to this YouTube channel. So since you're already here, you might as well subscribe and thumbs up to let me know if you want to see more of these tutorials in the future and I'll be happy to do so. And so you must be wondering, what do I do with this website link now? 
And so the last and final step is to shorten that website link so it fits perfectly in your bio. You can go to any link shortener, and I'm using Bitly in this case because it is free. All you need to do is paste your Canva link in and click shorten link. And there you go, you have your brand new super aesthetic website link page and all you have to do now is add this to your bio link and you're ready to go. If you guys have any other Canva tips and tricks, feel free to share them in the comment section down below. And if you also make your new website link, please tag me on Instagram so I can see it. But thank you so much for tuning in and I hope you guys found this helpful and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. Mm -hmm.